So I wanted to walk you through how to make a menorah using Arduino. And so what you're looking at right now is the prototype menorah. We've got uh, nine LEDs, four on either side, and then a center LED to represent our menorah. We've also got a push button here. So as you push the button, all of these will illuminate starting with the farthest right LED and then moving left. And yeah, so now I just wanted to show you how to set this up. You're going to start the typical Arduino problem solving skills of just defining some global variables. I've purposely uh, plugged in the LEDs on sequential pins just so that we can utilize for loops to turn the LEDs on and off and to keep track of our current count or how many times we've pressed the button. And then we've got some states here, we've got some debouncing globals. A lot of these global variables were taken from the debouncing sketch that Arduino has as an example, so go check that one out. We'll set up the uh, pins per usual. We're going to set up the LEDs all as outputs, the button is an input, and then all of the pins. And this is just some initialization here. We're essentially just going to take the first pin, starting on pin 2, all the way through pin 9 and then we're going to increment them, uh, turn them on, set them up as outputs, turn them on, delay, and then turn them off. This is just to verify that all of the LEDs work, and then we'll be ready to run the actual program. The program that we're going to be running is this light menorah method, and it's essentially just a rewritten version of the debouncing method used in the example program. And so what we'll do is instead of clicking the button and turning an LED on or off, we're going to be clicking the button and incrementing the number of LEDs that are on. You go ahead and turn on the power here. We can run that initialization routine. So that just verifies that all of the LEDs work. And then we can go ahead and click the button. And you'll notice that there's a little bit of a delay between the Shamas candle, which is the center LED, and then the farthest right LED, that one turns on. So there's a little bit of a delay just to kind of simulate giving yourself time to light both of the candles. And then what we've got ourselves now is we're waiting to see where we are with the number of button clicks. And so we can keep track of every time the button is pressed by incrementing a count counter. And so that counter will be what ends up turning on the second LED on the next iteration through this loop. And so as we click the button, more LEDs will turn on, simulating the lighting of the candles. And once we hit the eighth LED, we're going to actually reset the counter because we'll be hitting number nine and we're going to shut all of the candles off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see other tutorials like this for the holidays, definitely leave a comment below. Reach out to me if you have any questions. I've provided a copy of this example code in the post, so feel free to download that and give this project a try yourself.